What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a HTTP request uh, without using jQuery or AngularJS, so just in plain uh, vanilla JavaScript. So I have JS bin open, and I'm going to make a variable called uh, HTTP request. And I'm going to set this equal to a new XML HTTP request. And this this function invokes uh, the object which contains all of the methods to uh, trigger up a HTTP call. So we log this out. We can sort of see what's on this object. Response, response text, response URL, everything on air. Cool. Um, so let's, when we fire it up, we'll say HTTP request dot open. Then we pass it three parameters. First is the type request, so it's a get request. Second is the URL we want to get. So we'll just store a URL here. We'll, we'll say API or API equals um, HTTPS api.github.com slash users slash Anderson TR15. So we'll pass it that API. And the third parameter is whether you want it to be asynchronous or not. So I'm going to put true. I want it to happen right away. And um, now in our HTML, we can make a h1. And let's just add in jQuery, not for the request, but just so that it's easy to uh, show you that we are indeed getting back this data. So let's close this here. And uh, let's close our console. And um, now that we have this, we can, um, we can um, replace the contents. We can grab our h1, sorry, h1 dot html, we say http request dot response text, and let me see, make sure it's going through, do we actually have an h1 here, let me close this, h1, um, let me see what error we're getting back, this should work, console, what does it say? Keep your quest dot response. So it's running it, but I'm not sure why it's hmm. Wait. Let me take this off. Let's see if we're getting it back. Keep your quest dot response text. Now let's run this, see if we're actually getting something back. Mm. Let me just console.log. Request. So it has a response text. Let's log it down here and see if we actually got something back. So response text. Oh, right, we got to send it. My bad, sorry, guys. It actually triggers the request. We have to say send. So now if we log out what, what's in our HTTP request, we should be able to see some data. Let me see. Response text. Um, yeah, we are getting it. We're getting our exit mail HTTP request. Okay, and response. Yeah, we, we're getting the response response text. So I'm just going to show you guys we are indeed getting it. So we're just going to do uh, h1.html uh, HTTP request dot response text uh, zero. Let's see real quick. Each one. Hmm. Let me log this out real quick. HTTP request. Response text zero. 
make sure we're actually getting back what we want. Response text. Request. Um, request dot response text. So it says it's still loading. Ready state. Send. Yeah, so send dot HTML equals equals uh HTTP dot response text. Yeah, so let me try this out. I'm not sure why it's Ah, uh, I think I have to change this to false, actually. I was doing it wrong. Let's see. All right, yeah. I was running it asynchronously, so what was happening was it's possible that there could have been a delay or that it wasn't firing right away. So um, that's why we weren't getting the data back. So if we just now, if we take this H1 and we give it HTML, the HTTP request, uh, dot response text we should see it right here response text um, login no. response text zero one no. uh, response text dot split response text dot split zero one Two, three, okay. So if we give it, if we do that, we will now see that that's my username. Similarly, if we change it to 16, get not found, or uh, let's think, let's see, I think John Papa has one probably. John Papa, or uh, I don't know who's another one, Steve Jobs, right? But, um, Theo. 100 not found go back to mine we can see that it is found so that's what you guys have to do you have to make your new XML HTTP request set up your API give it the parameter the HTTP verb uh, the API API um, URL and then false which you want to set up because when you put false when you use async false not right just put the code after send so yeah in order to I was being dumb by putting true, you can do true. I just have to look at the API a little bit more because that was actually just returning a promise. So yeah, sorry guys, I don't know why I was so so uh, slow about that. But uh, so normally it looks like you would do this. You do on ready state. So this is just returning the data from that promise, and then you could get it back. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Always appreciate the support. Thanks for the support and uh, have a great day. Bye.